All right, so here's the next special mission. Galvanizing hope. And that's all I know about the stowaways, sir. Have to deal with them right now. They're to be handled by security until things calm down. Yes, sir. Are things actually going to calm down at any point on this ship? This all seems suspicious, doesn't it? I mean, I mean, Mike, come aboard now. I was thinking the same thing. Pounding a humanoid weapon here again, no less. Battles the gamblins have always are driven by fleets. And battleships are packed. Battleships packed actual fighters. Ooh, that's uh, uh look at this is a Singapore release, localized release, so English is localization is done by people who have English not as their first language. They've done really well thus far, but occasionally stuff like this slips through. I'd probably rephrase this as battle battleships carrying agile fighters have always been at the center of space battles. The human weapons of a firepower advantage. They prove effective as they seem, that opens the door to incredible tactical possibilities. We can debate this all we like. The fact is the Yamato is now in possession of humanoid weapons. Well, one. Only the last two entries of the manifest. The strange part is there aren't any crafts like that in the hangar. They will catch up to us in due course. We will exit the atmosphere shortly after. Commander! Gamelin fighters do Commander! Gamelin fighters spotted! They have pointed! One, two, oh, two! They're headed right. They're headed right for us. Seems they got wind of our plan. What are your orders, sir? We'll be aiming to cut off our reinforcements. Beat up, Shima. Get us to point one two zero two. Roger. Increasing forward thrusters. Reinforcements are as our alert. Our, our Earth's last hope. As much as we are, we have to protect them. And the two new party members who pick up from this mission. I heard there was someone else on board the Amato. That must be you. I believe you're correct. Seeing as I was at the rendezvous for. Seeing as I... I'll try and give you a, a Vulcan voice acting. I'm Charlotte Hastings. Let's call me lucky. By good and goosed, I'm aware. Excuse you? The good and goosed. A weapon concept based built solely in pursuit of power and versatility. Designed in a kit developed by the Polo Wilhelm Labs America branch. It really transformed into a humanoid transformed from a humanoid form to aircraft and tank forms. Its power extends exceeds all extended weaponry, which necessitates a large and typical design. It says Cut Design Hand Event production it can be super. Both the side of the chassis and do call attention to its own peculiarity. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold on a second! How do you know you said about doing this, but I don't even know your name? Pardon me, I'm going to make my bad habits. I am built out text. It's kind of long, so just call me Belt. Okay, I read a let play, let's play. Which referred to him as Veltav.txt, like a text file. And I thought it was, oh, he has a very computer personality thing. No, no, it's because his last name is Text. Oh man. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, that is. Please tell me make a joke about what kind of, about where that name's from. I developed this Huckleby Rose on the research deck at the Polar Wilhelm Labs HQ in Germany. Ah! So you are the, the German? Very well, I have the correct accent for you. This is your power, huh? I wonder if you know so much about Billy Goose. Now that we have the best specific formalities, allow me to tell you about the Huckleby. The Huckleby is also powered by the VEX, but the black hole engine that drives your. Something's coming! Come on, Aikens! The combat unit is equipped with machine guns and missiles, best suited for ground combat. 
the accent is slipping. Now, returning to my description of the Huckabine, which you so rudely interrupted. Say what? The Huckabine has been called a match preview. Everything of the Earth Federation forces have been the choice of the mobile suit. I am slipping between German and Scottish for reasons that are that escape even me. Alright, cool and Goose. Huckabee is built to come to the designs already used by the EFF. They can get easier to maintain. This confers a large advantage. That being said, a number of innovations can increase the spare power upon repair, also making it a version of the Super Monica. Huckabee turns vegetable wisdom on its human but requires being fully open firepower on its. Right, head! Yeah, I get it! Let's get out of here before we lose ours! I wasn't finished! Are we experiencing the same situation here? The Gamelon are. And I'm. Damn it! Oh, I'm talking with your, with your stupid accent! Are we experiencing the same situation here? Gamelons are right in front of us! Neither the Golden Ghost nor the Huckabee are in the main databases. They will not engage until they are thoroughly investigated. Are you saying we can want a clean to strike? I'll figure it out your accent for you. If you're being optimistic, you say yes. And for that head, you so really know how to handle yourself in the fight. I think I'm gonna make you southern, maybe. You'll have a good option. You need to assess the situation at time, show a simple and appropriate course of action. Baloney, you worked an intuition in the end, just like me, which is why you should have followed my lead in the first place. Bloody is a generally a British slash southern nickname. Let's, let's go for slipping between southern and British. Einstein's is not is all of his twenty minutes. More importantly, we should not squander another golden opportunity. That's a strategy I can get behind. Let's go, Velt! Very well, lucky. Very well, lucky. Oh, that's Russian. Gamelons, we will not yield to you. Nine! Machines are Earth, yes, last three hope. They're not gonna take this line down, you feel me? That means no SR points. Okay. We go wild. And don't die. Oh bunch of speed of fighter bombers. Look what you got. Got support attack. Oh, the shadow is just a baby. Alright, so here's his big so here is his big thing. The macro mechanic. You have two different versions of this. Two different versions of micro missile. With a separate ammunition pool and separate activity for support. It's the map weapon. And what this does is it is it means that when you have enough focus to use this bad boy, you can point every any enemy in a massive chunk of the map. It is an a, effectively an AoE attack. I can try and turn together. You, get to, you have support, which means we got next to you. Oh, hey! Turn this for me to punch you in the face. Alright, Kungus, let's. Alright, good news. Let's go. Our battle starts right now. We're fighting to revive the Earth. We're pulling out a lot of stops now. It's Iskandar or bust. Rocket punch! Okay. By punching the face, you mean you do, but I'm rocket punching in the face. One hit KO! Woohoo! 
Hey, the viewer on Twitch, thank you for watching. And... Yep, and John Lanka, so... Attack. Oh, <laughs> okay. Well then, well, let's, let's see this good here. Pokemon carries the hopes and high dreams of everyone at the Cola Labs and all the other survivors. People make safe passage to Iskandar for the sake of their victims, for the sake of all who endeavor to get Pokemon by and mind and mind self this far. Okay, so I can't counter-attack. And then I literally can hit you from there, so... So, defend... Yeah. I just made there. I have to... I have to... I have to hit is low enough. That was a 70% evade rate! Oh, that was a 17% evade rate! How did you hit me? Oh, he got funnels! That is two kills! Let's try the micro missile. It's not enough to do a one-hit KO, but it likes to go off. It might as well throw it off too. And he hit the back arc with a Macross Mutual Massacre. Or rather, the Ford Tano Circus. Oh, 
cost saved me. The pop like gratitude love. We're just a tough. That was a tough man. That was nothing. You have any attacks that Huckleberry Brown can't handle for me? Got it? Understood. However, I will not give you a harm's way again. Oh, who's the big guy now? Wait, blink, shut up. Oh, that was just Vulcan. And that pretty much shows up every weapon we've got available. I'm not going to be able to do it. Nice. And you level up. So that even without a kill. are both pretty much dead. So interesting, the, the first knuckle has some of the attacks. Uh... I could definitely hit you. I, I will I, I can't. I will definitely hit you, and I will definitely kill you. Are you down? So actually, you can take down those two guys. So one killed, one critical damage. Once we move over here. So, Belt's got more kills. I think Belt's going, I think Belt's going in, in the, uh, um, uh, fight of, uh, in, in, in some Jim Lee versus, um, uh, uh, wow, Smith well, you do battle kill count. Belts can still be still in there. Oh, we get a chance. This is a chance for a uh, Gurujus to get to make up for it. I be firing the lasers. <laughs> And now she's leveled up! 
They, they did not go up, but Hit did. There's no exception to Super Robot. And ping! Mission accomplished! Illegal narration confirmed. They appear to be acting autonomous. Ooh, it looks like during his first battle was a success. Time for the march in the wind column. Time for the bind was similarly important. Hey, don't you think we make a great team? We are heavily armored villagers who can beat the super, use it for time, and can charge into enemies. Meanwhile, I'll put the blind and get to long range cover. Take it up any enemy cover that dares to escape your assault. Zor, the development of a machine to pick up half, said that is an idea. Of course, they are up to fire up to the heat. Everything is the As far as I can tell, over, this is awesome. The final piece of the puzzle took us to the in a high degree of cooperation. Are you done? Apologies. Don't have it to die hard. Eh, don't worry about it. It's not like one to attack right now. And you've got quite the way of talking. I shall take this out as a token. I still want the sort of answer though. Let's try this again. Don't you think we take a great team? The Dactylians still receive top of each other, they can't tell each one to their strength. In other words... In other words, I am an idiot. Okay then, but I think I think want to make an awesome team, though. As do I. That's the armor! That's the armor, though! Mr. Lacuse is dreadnought, super solid, not cast, space battleship, ID number BBY, single of the Lakes, 333,000, meters. Multiple points to need for us. Our fame makes this like the team, that's enough. We're getting darker and stuff. Amazon's gonna be our home from now on, so we're just gonna keep them waiting. Indeed. It's the cobbler. Lottie. Not now, though. Built up text, Charlotte Hastings. Both. Both of you are on the manifest, as opposed to the other two schmucks. I am the technical officer, Lieutenant Kodai. You have been assigned to the aircraft squad, so I will leave you to Lieutenant J.G. Kato here. I am Lieutenant Aircraft Squad Captain Lieutenant J.G. Severo Kato. Welcome aboard. Thank you, sir. As if we have no military experience, we look forward to your tutelage. Well, I won't be teaching you much. The Cosmo Falcon operates a bit differently from your machines, so the tactical officer will be taking control during the battle. I'm pretty sure I saw a humanoid weapon over there. Judging by its experience, it, no. judging by appearances, it appears to be a, it looks a bit different than a mobile suit. But what is it exactly? When you're concerned, you may jettison it depending on how the situation progresses. Jettison it? Man, that would be such a waste. Based on my observations, however, it was excessively armed machine that, that was forced to fly. In other words, a total failure. Weapons must, above all else, be designed according to their intended use. <laughs> Apologies, Velt, but now is not the time for a lecture on weapons. The Yamato will soon exit the atmosphere. Take the position the captain has given you and remain on standby. Yes, sir. Don't take it personally, Velt. I'll listen to the rest of you on Sacrophonia Entry. Thank you, Lottie. I am most pleased that you've also run the plan to be We'll make the best of the situation, Belt. Otherwise, it'll be a long 336,000 light years. Oh, someone is sitting through my terrible, terrible accents on Twitch. Thank you, viewer. Please feel free to post in the comments to say hi. All right. We now have our new party members.
So the other thing is you can so you can tactical points run battles to research new special skills you can teach characters. Starting with the potential ability. So she's already got potential level 7. So we're going to train her with that, and Okita, he's got, he's got potential as well, so we're, he's good. Bunch of cash for upgrading to reduce. Let's boost my energy a bit. Alright, so I haven't actually made, got any of those yet. And so these are all the series that we're going to be having for this game. Out the way, Flash, Dytarn 3, Rebuild of Evangelion, Third Place Running Counts, Cross Ange, uh, with Full Metal Panic. We're in space. How is the Full Metal Panic robot going to do in space unless we're tweaking them to operate in the vacuum? A bunch of Gundams, as per usual. So. Let's hit. Let's continue on. Let's do. One more mission today. Oh, I just played this! Oh, we didn't use this one last time. Let's see this one. Slight gynexing. Beam becomes ex warning. Beam becomes extremely hot. Damn! Whoa! That was like twice as much, as over twice as much damage needed to kill it. So it's worth it. We get to finish finishing all the other attacks we didn't do last time. Like, we will also do a ton of power over the course of this fight. <laughs> so we have the Tato Circus plus a laser scraping run. And ramming before turning into the tank. And then shooting a whole piece of the whole. 
with a whole bunch of artillery rounds. And then ramming it. Okay, that's pretty awesome. I feel better by having to replay this fight. Alright, next position. We worked through all this already. Yes, this is literally the beginning of a beautiful friendship. They're going to be the beta couple. Alright. Now we have the V Aggressor and V Defensor picked up from that. So now we have two new pilots. We still can't swap pilots or anything like that yet, but... We got some more points. But now we have power parts. We can decide the things. Bang rang. V defense, aggressor, push weapon damage, hit and crit. And boost hit points, armor, and mobility. The V Aggressor adds a bit of special stuff to the Gurdengust, but that's it. But the Defensor, on the other hand, ups its armor, ups its hit points, ups its, and ups its mobility, meaning it can dodge more. It basically makes it tankier. So we're going to go with that. The V Aggressor doesn't, doesn't do anything similar for of mine. But on the Bang Ray. Oh, Bang Ray also. Well, this is add special. Which. Okay. Okay, so let's add special functions. So. Let's upgrade the Vang Ray's weapons a bit. Alright, now... Take a look real quick at the library. The scenario chart. So that is theoretically replayable over and over again, but... You don't really get anything out of replaying it. Outside of the proper story flow. After the next mission, we get our access to our first bonus scenario. Like our first narrative focused bonus scenario. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. I also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.